So he was born Everton Hardware. For some strange reason, I think him is still Everton Hardware, but he's better known as, as singing melody, and he's been singing for, for many moons, and he's in a class of his own um, wonderful voice, and he's sitting with me now. In your class. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must call it like when we right. an interview. I must call it singing melody. I must call it Everton. And Which one? You, you know, well, you know, I'm getting used to the Everton hardware. Though, <laughs> but I will keep it as singing, singing melody. melody. That's what makes everybody know about Where that name come from, by the way? Singing melody. Singing melody is um, it actually just been on the search for names when I was much younger coming up in the business. I wanted a name that was what, what, what actually meant something. You know what I mean? And um, we were debating, so a year them calling me Singy just now. Yeah. So that was a street name, Singy Singy. Which is no but then, Taros Riley. Yeah, <laughs> which is no Taros Riley, but that long time ago. But then a friend of mine said, I don't like it because it's too anno it's so annoying. Yeah. You're like, you know, like it's a joke thing. You know, I want you to have a name that more meaningful. So, you know, look in the dictionary and found melody. And we say, yeah, disconnect. So, if you're singing, you have to be singing in melody. Yes, yeah, so it's singing melody. So one singing melody. When did this start? The, 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 the... 1985. Why? What led you to this? My surrounding, my community of Spanish Town Road, Mackay Lane, you know, Payne Avenue, you know, Maxfield Avenue. That was my, my whole neighborhood, you know, I mean, just music, all music. But then, you know, my mother, I think I got the talent from her because, you know, she was always singing for the dead. And I always say, why she don't sing for the living? But she said she preferred to sing <laughs> when people gone. <laughs> <laughs> but she has that high pitch sound, you know, you could hear her from a mile. So I think when I decided to pursue my career and I took off from her home now and get independent, you know, when boys leave home. So I went back when I had my first hit record and, you know, star and all so yeah. she said you better sit down here and keep yourself quiet where you think you get this talent from yeah. <laughs> so from there on just humble humble beginning any regrets no i would do this one million time over again because it's just filled me up like coming from where i'm coming from it's you understand where that is it was zero yeah. but the beautiful thing about it was community and we all have the same energy supporting each other yeah. you know what i mean so yeah, yeah it's great uh, a new single fragile and you said something before you started the song yeah. this morning what led you to and i suspect you wrote it no it is a song well i was on the her the, the, the verge of writing yeah. a song and was just playing spotify and then i heard this song and i was like wow this is exactly what i want to say then when I checked the song, it was out from 2016, and it was done by Labyrinth yeah. himself. Yeah. So I, I took it, and I was like, yo, this is really what I was looking at. Because I've been looking how men has been really isolating themselves and becomes victims. They don't talk. We don't talk. We don't say a word. Everything is always okay. You know, because society has, has, has made men to be a piece of steel. You can't bend, you can't cry, you're supposed to be standing up, you're supposed to be doing this, but then who do you complain to? Who do you talk to? You know, most of the time when you talk to you, your wife or your spouse, you know, it's always like, yeah, yeah, I understand. But it's never really taken in consideration. So you find that a lot of men snap after a while and just, just lose it. Did this have anything to do with you personally? No, but I've seen it. Like you hear it on the news, you see it every day, but it's, it's never been discussed that much because it's, it's a topic that when you start to talk about that, you know, the, the other side gets offended because they feel you're trying to say they're not doing a good job. But no, we are not doing a good job by talking to our spouse. Just talk. If you have to cry, cry, you know, because we're all fragile. Because as you hear in the end of the song, it says, after he left you 10 times 10, could I put you back together again? Because it takes another person to really heal another person sometimes, you know. It's, we all need each other to go through that roller coaster thing called life. And if we feel like we're abandoned, so uh, we've been abandoned, then there's no way to go. Yeah. What's going on outside of Fragile? What else is happening? 
music tours. We have shows coming up in the UK, um, Orlando. You know, I'm always moving. You know, Lost is always moving too, as well. Um, otherwise, from that is business. As you know, I we own the villa, my wife and I. Mimosa. Villa Mimosa. We also own a yacht charter company in Montego Bay that we rent luxury yachts and things like that. You know, so, you know, focusing on trying to build Jamaica brand, you know, and um, that's why I came back to Jamaica to really just set up myself and to just make sure everything that I've done has to do with Jamaica. Yeah, you, you mentioned know? Lust. Yeah. Still there? Lust is always there, man. We'll never, we'll never go away. But how do you decide when you want to do this by yourself as opposed to when you want to work with you Lust? Know, you know, I don't decide. How them decide that? No, we just keep working. Like me, I just keep working. I never stop working. I'm always recording. I have my own studio. And that's the good thing about having your own workplace. You know, you don't have no rest time. You, there's always something to talk about. You know, when I look at my whole career and everything that I've done, I was like, man, you know, once Barry's told me, I don't really look at what I'm doing, I just keep going. Yeah, was you there know? a plan B? Do you think that if this music thing don't work, I'm going to do a <laughs> or anything like that? Did you have, an, did you have a plan B? No, I, I leave that to my wife. Um, the, the plan B thing is music. It's always been. Nothing more. I walk off my shoes, no bottom. In the in the in the back in the bottom of the shoes, no, so, just walk it off. Going to places to get opportunity. They think I'm gonna do all of that, and then come back and say, yeah, I want to be you now a pilot. You know, even though I love flying, but no, music is what I would do again and again and again. Even if there's no money. Yep. I don't know yeah. um, if you do or did collapse, but. Yeah. <laughs> who would you want to do one with that you have never done one with, or local and foreign? You know, I'm always saying this, and this will never change. I look at music itself and not individuals. So if an opportunity is presented to me, and I think it's, I'm, I'm in that lane, I will accept. But there is no artist out there. You yeah, know, there's... a long time, I uh, know, that man. you said, boy, I made a little love um, on a stage. Yes. Like, man, there on a song yeah, man, there. definitely. But the reason why I'm saying this, because there's many. Right. But there's only, there's one person that I was always thinking about, Brian McKnight, that was yeah. years ago. But then the focus shift now, and yeah. people, new people are coming in, and you've been inspired all over again. Yeah. So there's many artists out there, even my own Jamaican artists, yes, yeah. you know, that... I think what, what needs to happen still right now in the music industry is that the younger folks need to start listening to some of the older stuff yeah. and start remix them. Yeah. You know, yeah. because I think this will actually teach them how yeah. powerful reggae music will be. Always, is. Always I still is. Always good to see you. Every time. Keep on doing what you're doing. Respect. All right. Uh, yeah. Mass Everton. <laughs> <laughs> Singing melody, Everton Hardware. Nice chat. All right, this should be fun when we come back. The great guy to learn how to crochet. Can you imagine that? Well, I can't, but it's all come. Stay with us, please.